Today, I'm gonna to be making the Paul Hollywood Lemon and Lime Zesty Sponge Cake. Uh, this is the mix. Brian sent this to me from the United Kingdom, so I really appreciate it, Brian. This should be fun to make. Um, it did not come with frosting, so it said that a good buttercream would really go well with it. So we bought the Pillsbury Creamy Supreme Buttercream Frosting. I think Duncan Hines does have a whipped version, but we wanted just the regular frosting and not the whipped. So what you need to do is you need to get two pans uh, and you need to grease them, align the bottom, and then grease them, which I have done. You need to preheat your oven to 356 degrees. And what you will need is three medium eggs, 175 grams unsalted butter, softened butter, uh, four tablespoons of milk, which I will get out in just a minute, one lime, zest, and juice, and that's it so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your three eggs and you put them in your mixer and you want to whisk these until they double in size okay i'm going to take this and set it to the side and then put my paddle attachment on here. And I'm going to, to another bowl, I'm gonna add the cake mix. And the butter. milk and lime and then we're going to mix this so now what you want to do is this is your mixture right here you want to fold in half of that egg mixture. And then add the rest and fold it in. Now you want to divide this mixture between your two pans. to let these bake for 20 to 25 minutes so this is how they look out of the oven and I love these pans because I can pull this right out of here and I have let them cool let's see ah that was easier than I thought so there's one layer and it has cooled it's a thin layer so um, it, it didn't take long to cool. So this is my buttercream frosting. And it's just uh, just plain frosting. Now I would think, you know, since this is a lemon lime cake, I would think if you wanted to use uh, lemon frosting that you could. I didn't want to, at least not for, for this time anyway, because I wanna taste the cake, uh, you know, Kevin and I uh, want to review the cake and see how it tastes and because we know what the lemon frosting tastes like. So I'm just going to frost this, take it out to the edge all the way around and then I'll put my second layer on. As you can see, I've cut us a slice of this cake. It looks good. It does look good. It smells good. Hmm. Mm, I like that, that lemon flavor. That's very good. And I got a little piece of that lime zest. 
and I couldn't taste it at first, but then when I swallowed, you can really taste the lime. That's good. That's a good cake. It's very rich with that uh, frosting, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it's very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. I like that. But I'm glad I got that and not lemon. Oh, it'll cover it up because it's a light lemon flavor. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, my cake did not turn out very thick. That is because the only pans we have with the removable bottom are nine inch pans. So, when I grabbed the, the pans, I grabbed nine inch pans. On his on the box, Paul Hollywood says you're supposed to use seven inch pans. So when you make it at your house, it's going to be uh, about this big, and it's going to be a much. It's probably going to be twice as thick oh, yeah. as what ours is yeah, here. Probably. Pretty close. Um, but this is a delicious cake. Very good. Very very good. Thank you, Brian, so much for sending us another cake mix, Paul Hollywood cake mix to enjoy. This is very very good. So I hope everyone else enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.